Hello, this is Len Hansen, KU7Q, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm pleased to introduce the latest addition to the Linovation product line, CTR2 MIDI. CTR2 MIDI is a small controller based on the CTR2 micro design and form factor. It's 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters by 20 millimeters, or 2 and 3 eighths inches by 2 and 3 eighths inches by 7 eighths inches not including the tuning knob. It has an encoder, six push buttons, a USB-C port, and a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack for paddle input. MIDI controllers are generally used to control musical instruments, but many radio control apps such as Smart SDR and SDR Control for Apple devices by Marcus DL8MRE support them for tuning and parameter control in the app. Most MIDI controllers are USB devices, however CTR2 MIDI uses Bluetooth LE MIDI. This means that the controller doesn't need to be physically connected to the device the app is running on. To set up the system, simply take your paddles and plug them into the 3.5mm phone jack on the MIDI. Next, take the OTG adapter that adapts the lightning connector on the iPad to USB. Plug in your USB-C cable to the adapter, then plug the adapter into the iPad. Next, plug the USB-C connector into the MIDI. Once the MIDI boots, it'll flush all of its LEDs and send out a couple of beeps to let you know that it's awake. The encoder's default function is to provide a physical tuning knob. This allows you to easily fine-tune the frequency on the radio. Here, the tuning step function in the app has been mapped to multifunction button number 6. Pressing this button steps you through the available tuning steps. In CW mode, this is 1, 10, 100, and 1000 Hz. Volume and mute functions can also be mapped to the MIDI. Here I've mapped the press and turn function of the encoder to volume. And the mute function to function button number 3. CW operators will appreciate the MIDI's paddle interface. First, select CW mode. I've mapped multifunction button number 2 to step through the radio's modes. Next, open the CWX panel from the view menu. Break-in mode enables the radio to transmit using the keyer. The radio is set to 0 watts, so the radio switches to transmit mode, but no RF is generated. Next I'll select the encoder state that I've mapped transmit power to and adjust the power to 1 watt. Finally I'll turn off break in to use the app side tone for code practice. When combined with that Smart SDR support for Smart Link, remote CW operation becomes effortless. You can map two functions to each multifunction button. Here I've mapped the app's band up and band down functions to multifunction button number two. Pressing the button for less than one second, referred to as a short press, increments the band. Pressing and holding the button for more than one second, referred to as a long press, decrements the band. The encoder can be mapped for eight functions in the app. This is done with four encoder groups named Home, 1, 2, and 3. The yellow LEDs indicate the selected group when you're not controlling the Home encoder group. Each group has a turn and a press and turn function. Here, I've mapped the bandwidth control to group number one turn function. 
I've also mapped the pan adapter zoom in and zoom out functions to multifunction button number 5. The MIDI is also compatible with Marcus's Smart SDR for the iPhone. We'll finish up the introduction with a few demonstrations of some of the features in this program. This concludes the CTR2 MIDI introduction. You can find more information about the MIDI on my website. I'll leave a link in the description below. Subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to be notified when I post new videos on my channel. Thanks for watching. 73's Lynn KU7Q